Hey everybody, Dark Young Link here, welcome back to more Let's Play Legend Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we went to the Thieves' Hideout, and in this episode, we're going to go all the way to that five. But first, we gotta find a way to get there. Luckily, I think we can just walk there, actually. Like, with everything, with all our new items... We can just get there. I think. <laughs> that's the that's like one things I do love about Zelda games is that you can just get anywhere and everywhere. And actually, I think I don't I don't remember if I did this yet, but I think if we use the magic mirror right here. There's a secret. If I use the magic mirror on the map. Aha! Heart container. Or a piece of heart. That's useful. Like I said, I'm not gonna go after every piece of heart in the game. And if I just come across one like that, then that'll be good. <laughs> crap but um that's actually one of the things that what was I saying I, I actually can't remember crap I love this map, but I keep get I always get lost in it. Which is what I go back to when I say that the map in this game is very, very useful as opposed to other Zelda games. But here we are. Just gotta jump in. Uh oh. I think I might have a problem. Well, first, let's use the mirror to warp to the light world because I think we can't get here. Yep. That's another cool thing I like about this game is how you have to go to the dark world just to get anything most of the time. And in here we have a fairy. Pond of happiness. There's some rupees in. Okay, we'll, we'll throw uh, 20 rupees in. Okay. I know I didn't read that, but that was weird. I think something happens if you throw in a hundred rupees, I think. But I have so many rupees that it doesn't really matter. Happiness increased to 20. In total, your happiness is 40. You become happier by one step. For your reference today, we have good luck. So the dialogue's changing, so let's just keep doing this, I guess. Uh... Pond of Happiness, throw a few, 20 rupees, 60, a little luck. Okay, now that just sounds like it's going down. I think good luck would be a lot better than a little luck, but whatever. Part of me feels like that this isn't going to actually do anything. But... It's a Zelda game, so usually doing mundane tasks like these actually get you a reward. If it's a if it's a heart container, then that'd be great. Yes. Oh, um, I want more bombs. Yeah, that was kind of worth it. 
I think you can do that for more arrows, but honestly, arrows are very important right now, so. Let's see here. Okay, so yeah, this is where we need to go, but I'm actually not ready to go there. I am, however, ready to die. Take that as you will. Crap. In the Game Boy Advance version, it gives you options where you want to go. Alright, I'll, uh... I'll pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back at the Thieves Hideout in the Dark World because I just remembered something that we can do now that we finished that dungeon. If we go back here, we can now rescue this frog guy. Ribbit, ribbit. Your body did not change. You were not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what my partner is doing there without me. Ribbit. I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Please, Ribbit, please. So now we get this task to take this, um, I almost called him a rabbit, because I was thinking Ribbit. But we take this frog guy, and we can now lift these. Throw that, well, can't throw that to the cuckoo, but here we have a broken building. But surprisingly, we can take this guy into the to the light world and he becomes a dwarf just like this guy oh happy days are here again you found my partner we are very happy now drop by here again at that time we will temper your sword perfectly so now he's talked to him thank you thank you Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, we gotta exit and stuff. But, if you go back in. Hey, you welcome. Ask us ask us to do anything. Tamper my sword. So, just paid 10 rupees. And now we don't have a sword. We're kind of weaponless. Which is fine. Because... Um, we don't really need a s- I- there's something else we can do without our sword. Um... Which we'll do right now. I think something happens if we pound all these down. I think. Don't quote me on that, but... It'll give them time to do stuff with my sword. Because it's not like uh, I can really do much without a better sword. Yes. And another heart container. Piece of heart. I don't know why I keep saying heart container, but piece of heart. And now I think... I think the sword will be done. Right. Your sword is tempered up. Now hold it. Boom! Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. So now we have a stronger sword. Making things a lot less of a pain in the butt to do. Which means Kukos can get uh, annoyed a lot, a lot faster, probably. And one other thing we can do is if we go into here, there's a chest. Because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. And we have to take it to... Um... Crap, who do we take this thing to? Oh, I remember now. Do you guys remember... Oops. Okay, we can't run, apparently? Yeah, we can't run or at least the chest, so... 
We have to painstakingly walk there. But do you guys remember that guy uh, with the mustache? <laughs> yeah, that's that's very um that explains it nicely. No, that guy in the light world who had a mustache and he had this he had the sign that said, "Oh, this is just a dude. Don't bother him." We got to take it to that guy. I also think we can't get hit, so we're going to try to not do that. This is where that guy should be, and look how strong this sword is. It kills those guys in one hit. And we already had the mirror out. Whoa! I heard that you... I heard that you know I used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open a chest for you. Will you keep it a secret from everyone else? Yeah. It's a secret to everyone. And we get a magic bottle. We also get attacked by everything. Holy crap. And we can never get that heart. Great. Um. Let's see. Is there anything else we can do? That I can think of, anyway. Mm. No, not that I can think of. So, we're now going to go back to that... Back to that, um... The place, the temple, the dungeon. And that was weird. I think I got hit at the same time I hit that guy. Actually, have we explored this part of Hyrule yet? Because if not, that would be kind of bad. Um, I'll go for it. If I don't find anything, I'll probably just cut this part out. So I'll go with you guys. Good. That's fine. I won't need to cut it out because we're so close to where we need to be. I love how no matter how fast you tap this, you don't go fast, very fast. Also, I have this weird feeling. Yeah! There's something, there's a thing. That was very descriptive. But no, there's another piece of part we can take. So, let's actually try to do that. Never mind. Nope, don't go in there, Link. Come on. Crap. You have to find a way into the dark world from here. What I hate is I don't know every dark world entrance. So, like, I only know pretty much that one in Kakariko Village. And that's it. I might have to go back to Kakariko Village if I don't find one around here. Which isn't, like, the end of the world or anything, but... Yeah, I'm not sure where it would be otherwise. Here. Nope. It's hard though, I'll take that. And I'll also take that. Nope. That would have been, probably been one of the best place for it, but I'll just go back to Kakariko and then I'll Oops. I'll go back to Kakariko, I'll transform, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm back in the water here, and I think this is where that island is that has the heart piece. Yes. Probably gonna take some damage. Nope. And I got an extra heart, which will be good for the next dungeon, because I remember what this next dungeon is, and I'm excited. 
except not really excited. But let's just get back there. And I wonder if I do it here, if I'll be on land or not. Nope, in the water. Water's good. So now... I'll finally start this next dungeon. In the next episode. Because this one's probably... Actually, it's probably fairly short because of all the cutting out I'm going to do, but I have plans for this stage, or for this dungeon, and it's going to involve, like, the whole dungeon, so we did do some stuff. We got a heart piece. We got another, you know, another whole heart. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to stay outside where it's safe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we got another full piece of heart. We got... The last bottle, actually, which is surprising, because I actually forgot about that up until, well, I, I kind of remembered, but, you know, like I said, I've been watching, play. I watched playthroughs of Link of the Past randomizers, so, I remember more than what I actually did. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we got our sword upgraded, that's good. So, this was actually a fair- this was fairly good. In the next episode, we'll get a lot more done by doing this dungeon. Until then, I've been Dark Young Link, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!